The 15 puzzle is a sliding tile puzzle, which the American Sam Lloyd claimed to have invented in the 1870s, but that in fact was invented by Noyes Chapman, the postmaster of Canastota, New York. It became a worldwide obsession, much as Rubik's Cube did a century later. Fifteen little tiles, numbered 1 to 15, are placed in a 4x4 four four frame in serial order, except for tiles 14 and 15, which are swapped around. The lower right-hand square is left empty. The object of the puzzle is to get all the tiles in the correct order. The only allowed moves are sliding counters into the empty square. Everyone, it seemed, was caught up with the craze, playing the game in horse-drawn trams during their lunch breaks or when they were supposed to be working. The game even made its way into the solemn halls of the German parliament. Lloyd offered a thousand-dollar reward for the first correct solution, but although many claimed it, none were able to reproduce a winning series of moves under close scrutiny. There's a simple reason for this, which is also the reason that Lloyd was unable to obtain a US patent for his invention. According to regulations, Lloyd had to submit a working model so that a prototype batch could be manufactured from it. Having shown the game to a patent official, he was asked if it were solvable. No, he replied, it's mathematically impossible. Upon which the official reasoned there could be no working model and therefore no patent. Given a random arrangement of tiles, can we know in advance if we have one of the unsolvable kind? Yes, very easily. Simply count how many instances there are of a tile numbered n appearing after the tile numbered n plus 1. If there are an even number of such inversions, the puzzle is solvable. Otherwise, you're wasting your time.